Greetings, I'm Professor K, and in this short video presentation, we're going to take a look at how we go about creating a virtual install of Metasportable 3 using VirtualBox. Metasportable 3 is a VM of Windows Server 2008 that has been made intentionally vulnerable. Metasportable 3 is intended to be used as a target for testing exploits. Metasportable 3 is a free virtual machine that allows you to simulate attacks largely using Kali Linux and Metasploit. This lab demonstration, I will be using one installation of VirtualBox with the extension pack and one download of the OVA file for Metasploitable 3. The OVA image for Metasploitable 3 can be downloaded from Google Drive using the following link. Once the download is complete, find the downloaded OVA file and just double click it. Here's my downloaded copy of the OVA file. It's in my downloads folder. I'm just going to double click it and it will associate itself with a virtual box and begin the installation process. We're going to make some changes to the installation, but we're going to have to install the OVA file first. So I'm going to go ahead and begin the import process by clicking on the import button. The importation process has completed. And now from my left window pane, I'm going to find that virtual disk that we just created. I'm going to double click it. When you launch Metasportable 3 for the first time, you're going to get this error about a network adapter not being correct. It's very simple to fix. Just click on the button where it says change network settings. And from here, you're just going to pull down the window and from the context menu, you can select NAT network. Go ahead and say OK. And now the machine will start up. Now once the machine does start up, we've got to configure a couple of more things. So we're going to go up to Input, go to Keyboard, and we're going to insert a Control-Alt-Delete message. We're going to log on as Administrator, and the password is Vagrant, all lowercase. The first thing that's going to greet you when you log on for the first time is that Windows needs to be activated. Go ahead and cancel out that window. It's going to take a couple of seconds to build your profile. Once that's done, you can go ahead and restart later. Once your desktop does load, just go to the Start button and let's go to the Command Prompt. We're now going to rearm Server 2008 for another 90 days of a free trial period. To do this, at the prompt, you type in SLMGR, give it a space, forward slash rearm. Once you have that done, just go ahead and hit Enter comes back to the prompt letting you know that that command completed successfully. And in just a little bit it comes back letting you know that the command completed successfully and that you need to restart for the changes to take effect. Just go ahead and click OK to that. Go ahead and close out your command prompt. Go down to the start button. Let's go to log off. And from the context menu we're going to select shut down. Now to shut down with server 2008 you have to type something into the comment window. And that can just be a couple of characters. From there, you can just click OK. Once Metasportable 3 has shut down, go over to your left window pane up inside of VirtualBox, find the virtual disk, right click on it, and from the context menu, select Settings. We need to install the VirtualBox Guest Edition, but we can't do that without an optical disk. So the first thing you have to do is just click on Storage, and inside the center window, you're going to click on that first green plus sign. From here, you're going to click on where it just says leave empty. And you now have an empty optical disk for which we can install the guest editions from. The next thing we have to do is correct the issue with the display adapter. So click on display. And from here, you're going to pull down where it says graphic controller. And you're going to select VirtualBox SVGA. Go ahead and click OK. And now you can go ahead and launch your Metasploitable 3 one more time. Again, we need to click on Input, Keyboard, and send that Control-Alt-Delete message one more time. And again, we're going to log on as Administrator. And again, the password is Vagrant, all lowercase. Hit Enter. Once you have a desktop, you can go up to Devices. And in the Context menu, you can scroll all the way to the bottom and select Insert Guest Editions CD Image. You can wait a couple of minutes for the autoplay message to pop up, or you can go to File Manager, and you can click on where it says Computer, 
And from there, you'll see that your optical drive now has that image for the guest editions installed. You can go ahead and double click that. And inside of the image, you can look for the VirtualBox Windows Editions executable and just double click that. And that will start the Guest Editions installation wizard. Go ahead and click Next and just follow through and accept all the defaults. Once you've done that, go ahead and allow it to reboot for the changes to take effect. And again, go to Input and let's go to Keyboard and let's send over that Control Alt Delete message. Again, let's log on as administrator. And again, we're going to use that password of Vagrant. Let's go ahead and let's go to Devices. Let's go to Network. Let's go to Network Settings. And now that we have the guest editions installed, we can ensure that we have host only adapter enabled. The next thing we want to do is perform a snapshot of our current configuration. So let's go to Machine. From the context menu, select Take snapshot. Go ahead and give it a user-friendly name. I've entitled mine W2K8 with guest editions and new trial period. You can call yours whatever you feel like. I'm going to go ahead and say OK to that. And the snapshot will take place very quickly. Now the next thing we have to do is go to the start menu. And from the start menu, let's go ahead and launch the command prompt. I'm going to go ahead and increase the font size. Now the next thing we have to do is discover our IP address that's been assigned to this machine. So I'm going to type in ipconfig at the prompt. And you can see that my local area connection has an IP address of 192.168.56.103. Go ahead and write down your IP address so that you can remember it for later. In this short lab, you learned how to create a virtual install of Metasploitable 3. You also learned how to rearm the trial version for another 90 days. You also learned how to add an optical drive to the virtual machine. And lastly, you learned how to create a snapshot of your VM. To clarify, the snapshot is what is going to allow you to roll back to a period of time when you had a fresh install with the guest editions and a new 90-day trial period. I'm Professor K. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.